Hello everybody, welcome to Kubota Sessions, this is Richard. Today we are going to learn about concurrence. Uh, after concurrence, we learn the very, very best concept on mutual exclusion and synchronization. Okay, let me give you a short story on how concurrence came out. Now, so in the previous, uh, there were no interactivity during process execution, so by seeing that developers and programmers decided to find a means on how they can make the process to interact when they are executed so that to increase the efficiency on, and uh, I mean the execution time and uh, I mean the computation ability of the computer. So they decided to come out with the concept of concurrence. That means that this, they get something that will help to interact the process during the execution. You see that. So that's where the concept of concurrence come out. So what is the meaning of concur concurrence? Concurrence is a process of interacting the processes during the execution on the processor. So basically the concept of concurrence come out in order to solve the problem of, of execution of, of a single program in your processor. So this, this is a very, very brief introduction on concurrence. And um, concurrence can come out when there are some factors. Uh, and there are basically three factors that uh, contribute or make the rise of concurrence. The first factor is multiple application. Uh, when we have multiple application on our I mean on our system, it will cause that it will cause the time sharing between the multiple applications. So if uh, each application sec for the resources on the CPU and it it will it will enforce the CPU to have some schedule of sharing those resources. If and if they are start to interact by sharing the resources to help for them to does I mean to to, to I mean to, to be executed concurrently. That's where the concurrence concept come out. And also the concept of concurrence arises when there are structured application. When I'm saying structured application, I mean the application designed for conducting interactive execution of two or more processes. And um, these are mostly designed, I mean, the, their functionality are, I mean, the, for those structured application, the functionality of those application are basically extended so as to, to allow or to provide a room for concurrent execution. Um, okay, I think the some, I mean, there are, there are, simply you can say that there are applications that have been designed for conducting, or I mean to, for, uh, for operating execution concurrently. That's all. And also the structure of operating system. That's the second, I mean, that's the third factor for the rise of concurrence. And, uh, Concurrence occurs because of the operating system. It means that the system, uh, the OS itself is being designed, all the algorithm that is being used allows concurrence or concurrently execution of the process. That's very easy and simple about concurrence. And, uh, so those, those are the factors that can, uh, can arise concurrence. I mean the first one is multiple application, structured application, uh, the operating system structure. You have to go to that in mind. And uh, something very important also you have to understand that um, what are the things that help computer to to do the execution concurrently because yes we have talked about concurrence so how computer were able to do this concurrence and if we have all the factors like uh, when we have multiplication, when we have structure and the OS structure. How? So the OS itself, I mean the computer can just do it by uh, by doing some of the activities that help help to enable that concurrence because as I said the OS of the system is the one that's is responsible for designing of the execution. So that always and uh, 
I mean the system itself because the OS we say this as a system software, so the OS is a system. So the OS should have some properties or design that will, will help the concurrence to come out. As I said, operating system is among of the features that I, I mean among of the factors that cause concurrence. Okay, so here is some more explanation about operating system and concurrence. So the OS does something so as to make the concept of a concurrence or the action of concurrence to come out. We have this, the OS must keep track of various processes. So whenever the process keep track of the processes, it will, it, it will enable them to, it will, it, I mean, it will be able to organize for according to the nature of these processes, it will be like this. So it will be easy for it to allocate and de allocate resources. You see that? So the first, uh, the second point depends on the second point. And so also the OS, so as to enable concurrence, the OS should protect and should protect the data and resources against interference by other processes. Since the processes are interacting and I mean they are sharing, so there should be some means of protection. So the OS has got responsible for that. Um, uh, okay, we can to ensure the process outputs are independent of the processing speed and also that's the amount of the factors. Yeah, so as we have said that concurrence is concerned with interaction of processes. So it means that process, how do the processes interact? You see, so how do, does the process interact? The processes are, are interacting on the basis of this one. So first, the process should, uh, we have three categories of processes interaction. Um, there are some processes that are unaware to each other and other processes that are I mean, indirectly aware, and other processes are directly aware of each other. So, when the processes are about to to be executed concurrently, there are, the degrees of awareness should be there. If they are not aware, direct, I mean, they are not aware to each other, and they are aware, I mean, they are directly aware to each other or indirectly aware to each other. So, those are the very important things that you have to understand here, because failure to do so you will not be able to get the real concept of interaction of processes as a as a meaning of concurrence so okay when we are talking about processes that are unaware of each other it means that they will compete because they don't know how to communicate or how or how to share but they will still interact you see that and uh, also we have the processes that are indirectly aware of each other if they are aware but indirectly they will tend to just to cooperate by sharing they will be sharing right not not competing so they say we, we it's, it's not like we know each other right so they will be sharing i will be sharing you see but processes if they are knowing each other they will be sharing by communication hey man now i'm taking this so you take this somebody may ask how the corporate i mean how the processes Opa, I mean, no, don't know each other. Hey, those are things electronic I can't answer right now, but that's the concept that we got. So, you got it, take it as it is. And other things that are very important, you have to know um, the problems that are causing during the processes, interactions. There are several problems that are caused due to that, the whole process of interactivity of the processes in the execution we have mutual execution we have deadlock we have starvation these are the problem basically are caused because the process tend to interact so they cause this problem when we are talking starvation we are talking about the process i mean the schedule that's the cpu schedule that doesn't take a, doesn't give a time for execution one process you see, it, uh, it, it looks like the process is not there. So it stays without being executed for a long time. And mostly sometimes it can be executed. Okay, that's what we call arguing. And also deadlock. You know, if they are sharing some resources, somebody, I mean, some process may be waiting to get some resources that has been held by another resource. I mean, by another process. So it tends, they stay, they, they come into a chain that everybody is waiting for another to 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 release the resource 
So that's called the deadlock. I think the these terms have been explained on some. I, uh, there are some key terms I'm sure of this one. You know the meaning of this in detail. Mutual exclusion because we share mutual. So we will will be excluded. There there will be some problem of excluding others. I mean other process in sharing resources. You see. So if we have two resources and we have three processes, some processes will be excluded on sharing. See, that's the problem. Okay. I have started to talk about this, the important technologies before I show you. So you have to you have to pass through these term important terminologies. These are very basic and you'll understand all the terms that I have talked about. Also lastly I'd like to talk about the principles of concurrence. What are the things that may read or that are going to to be met, I mean, are uh, going to be considered when we are dealing with the whole concept of concurrency. Uh, these things are very crucial. Those are mutual exclusion, semaphore, monitors, message passing, readers, writers. Program. These are the things that will help us to control or or to make the interactivity to be conducted efficiently and effectively, right? So, in the next session, we'll talk about mutual exclusion. Thank you very much. Well, this is Richard.